the trees, I heard your voice in the mountain breeze Where the snow that falls without a sound rests silently upon the ground And comes the earth I'm walking on Comes the earth I'm walking on And sunshine on the window pane tells me morning's here again And water on the windowsill Shows me that this wounds me On the earth I'm walking on On the earth I'm walking on And in the past I felt so tall If I was a tree within the woods You'd hear me fall Upon the leaves that I had grown I truly learned to call this death my own I truly learned to call this death my It's me, I'm the squirrel and chew, it took you so long. I'm just, I'm just writing some stuff down, thinking about some stuff. What, what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm a squirrel. I need you to do me a favor, all right? <laughs> Look, man, I'm not joking around. I need you to give me some nuts. <laughs> man, I don't just carry nuts around, dude. I just, you know, I didn't know you'd be here, man. If I knew I was going to be talking squirrel, <laughs> you know, I would have, uh, I would have brought some nuts, dude, but I didn't bring anything. Uh, this is not making me happy. <laughs> if you don't have any nuts, just get out of here. Get out of here! Alright, fine, man. Let's wait for some other human that has nuts. I'll wait for some other human that has nuts. Get a load of that guy. What does the world need right now? I think it needs more uh, understanding and uh, people to kind of start to come together. Could always use more circus as well. What does the world need right now? Happiness. More cooperation amongst people. Um, I feel like a lot of disunity is going on everywhere and um, something that kind of brings everybody together under a single like thought process or cause would probably make the world a little bit of a better place. Uh, it's a pretty good understanding. I don't know, I feel like we should just burn it all down and then start from scratch. Give her, give her a quick answer if you got one. Um. Is it, would everyone just want to say one thing? Oh yeah. gosh, I don't know. Just say uh, one word that you think that would make the world better right now. Sanders. Sanders? Oh, <laughs> uh, good vibes. Good vibes? Community. Mm, Jesus. Okay. Chocolate. Moving to the moon. Jesus. <laughs> Empathy. I was uh, compassion. In one word. <laughs> hey there. Uh, we're filming a project right now. Would you mind stopping and help us for a second? Well, I would, but I, I got to put some money in the meter. Oh, okay. We forgot to put money oh, in the meter. okay. <laughs> it's something a generation of people have forgotten that we were once a part of. 
I was born in 72, it makes me still a hippie. On that note, they had a revolution going on. They changed the way the world looked at things. We need to get back to that. Peace, love, and the harmony, and all the harmony you can find. Yeah. Thanks for watching High Water TV. This episode is brought to you by Beer and a Glass. Why don't you head on down to Twin Leaf Brewing and get you one. Cam Cocos, everything. Take one.
told you, would you finally see me? You, uh, about to get another beer? Yeah, man. Yeah, can you give me one? Sure. I think I'll have one, too. How'd you do that? How'd I do what? I mean, how'd you just reach over, just like get the beer out of nowhere? The hole. What do you mean the hole? The hole in the couch. You can get anything you want. Ask me for something. What do you want? <sighs> Give me some cheddar sour cream chips. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, hold on a second. Give me some chocolate donuts. Where are you getting all this stuff from? The hole. There's a portal in the side of this couch. I can reach my hand in. Pull out anything you want. Anything? Anything. Anything? Anything, dude. That's where the donuts came from. What's the name of this show again? I think it's called... You can't take it from the hole! Oh. Right on, man. Can I get a slice? Oh, hell yeah. Sweet. Was that Jerry? This episode is brought to you by animals. Reminding you that maybe if somebody's giving you free food, it's because they want to touch you. My name is Dempsey Jones, and I'm here with uh, a friend that I just met. Tell me your name. Oh, uh, everybody calls me Badger. Badger, all right, man. And uh, we just want to know your story. We just want to know a little bit about you, Badger. You've been a traveler now for how many years? Uh, over 27. 20, 27 years. Yeah, yeah. What is one of the most dangerous situations you've ever been in? Oh, God. Riding my bicycle across Mississippi and Alabama where the logging trucks fly. <laughs> so it wasn't it wasn't another person. It wasn't a situation like that. It wasn't a scary. It was more just vehicles and traveling that way. Um, well, you know, I've had to put up with a lot of 
you know, people. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I've had to defend myself and defend other people's. And, and kind of recently I had to chase four people away, or I felt I had to, with a machete from my camp. And then I moved my camp the next morning. <laughs> and, uh, you know, when people come into your campsite at 2.30 in the morning giving you shit, it's... Yeah, yeah it's hard. Now, but, after, after your experience, how do you feel about people? How do you feel about humanity? Is it good? Is it bad? There's good people and assholes in all shapes, colors, religions, whatever. And uh, I find, generally speaking, that the less people have, the more willing they are to give. And how, how can an average person, somebody walking by, somebody with or without much, what can they do to help uh, lift your spirits? Well, you know, I sell art on the street, you know, and people want to tip me or donate, you know. Can, can we see a piece of your art real quick? Um, the first one I ever made was about this long, maybe longer, and I donated to a sanctuary in Tennessee. Um, I call it the American Trouser Snake and made up a legend about it. And they made $1,750 off it, bought a couple more acres of land, and I'd been giving them artwork forever. I mean, how old are you, Badger? Oh, uh, I just turned 62 in September. Yeah. 62 years. So when you're yeah. 62 years, if you could give someone just a word of advice, what is it? You know, be art, be free. Be art, be, art, be, be free. free. Be art, be free, everybody. Uh, Badger, thank you so much for talking with us, man. I really appreciate it. Autumn Rains and I am from Traverse City, Michigan and I have been living in the Black Mountain area for upwards of five years now and I work as a beer rep during the day and I am a musician as well. Everything that I draw, all of the inspiration comes from nature because I feel most connected to it so that's where I always have moons and mountains and everything but then also this whole idea of impermanence. I just kind of learned, you know, bad things happen in life and good things happen in life, but it's all one and the same, and so that's why I draw a lot of bones and things like that. I actually started drawing two years ago. I woke up one morning and put an album on and gave myself the length of this album to draw. And it was really therapeutic, so I just kind of continued to do that every day. I would call them coffee sketches coffee in the morning with my with my artwork and my vinyl and then um, I ended up having this hip surgery that left me bed bound for six weeks and obviously you have to do something to keep your mind in a really good place and so I started to really dive into drawing because it was the only thing that I could do. The first piece that I did the elephant which is right back here um, that was the first piece that I drew and it took me a really long time to do and I was like, you know, if I can do that, I wonder what else I can do. And it was just kind of this thing where I was like, as a 30-year-old woman, I realized that we can really do anything that we put our mind to. But I'm still in love with you.
they're famous, but they don't really know me. No. People, they stay up so late, hoping they won't hate themselves when it goes. Cause you ain't got nothing to say when I'm all on track. You keep on saying that you're gonna get yours back, but you don't say people are so crazy, they never cease to amaze me, they all feel so low. And you just wanna try some, cause you ain't had no fun. Yo, who's there? Yo, who's there? What's going on there?